Hello and welcome to a film produced by Team Conjet. Our intention with this film is to show you how to replace the encoder and magnet. You are going to need these tools and parts to complete this task. So let's get started. It is important that you power off the robot to minimize the risk of creating a short circuit. Use a 10mm key to remove the screws holding the lid over the sensor. Carefully pry the lid open and remove it. Take a picture of the connections for later reference. Terminals 1 and 2 supply tension to the sensor, where 2 is positive and 1 is negative. The terminal strips are spring-loaded. To release a cable, use a small screwdriver that you push into the hole above the cable connection. That releases the spring that holds the cable in place. Terminals 3 and 4 are the signals from the encoder. Remove the two screws holding the encoder to the mounting plate. Use the Allen key included in the package for the new encoder to undo the two small screws holding the magnet onto the shaft. If necessary, remove the terminal strip to gain access to the second screw. Pull the magnet off the shaft using a screwdriver or similar. Cut the cable to the appropriate length and strip the outer protection. Remove the shield wrapping. Use the picture you took earlier and determine what cable colors you need and cut the unused off. You will need white, brown, green and grey. The others are not needed. Strip the end of each cable and fit end sleeves. Start by sliding the magnet onto the shaft. Tighten it loosely. Notice the bullseye on the encoder sensing surface. This will be used to align it to the magnet. Mount the encoder. The magnet must be centered horizontally as well as vertically. Align the magnet vertically to the encoder and tighten the two lock screws. Use the enclosed feeler gauge to verify the clearance between magnet and the encoder. Adjust by moving the encoder slightly. Refit the terminal strip. Connect the cables in the same way that they were removed. Spray water repellent grease onto the connection strip. Check the o-ring and refit the lid. Verify the signal from the encoder by running the function while observing the status of the signal on the screen. Go to the input screen and verify the digital inputs from the cradle sensor. Check the sensor input value while running the cradle using the right joystick. 